Hi guys, so today we're going to see how we can take a backup of our WordPress website. So firstly, what is a backup? Simply a backup is a saving of a copy of your website on a particular date and then keeping that safe after you take that backup so that you can restore it in the future. So for example, let's say that you're making changes to your site and one day your site suddenly crashes and it stops working. What do you do when this happens? So you can recover your website. All you have to do is you have to locate your backup and restore that backup and then it will your website will work again. So there's three steps in doing this. Step one, you install your backup plugin. Um, you can get uh, there's various uh, plugins that can do this. Your ISP also provides for this capability. Um, I'm, today I'm just going to use a free uh, plugin that, that does that quite well on WordPress and then we're going to create that backup automatically and then we're going to save that backup to a secure location that can be accessed at a later point. So we can start, let's go ahead with that. So firstly we're going to need to install that plugin. So we just go to plugin and add new. So taking a black backup is extremely important because um, say for example you, you have automatic updates on your plugins or so on, uh, there's a high chance for that for your website to, to actually crash because of something that went wrong. Um, so let's let's go ahead and do this. So once we're added, we're going to plugins and add new. We can search for the plugin called Updraft. And this is the plugin we're going to use for the backup. So we're going to say install now. We can wait for that to be installed and then once it's installed we can click on activate. And we can click on press here to start which is taking you to the settings. And it guides us through and it says your first backup to make a simple backup to your server press this button. Click close on that. So to do that we can we can just go ahead and click on backup now and we can take our first backup of our WordPress website. We can select yes we want to include our database. Yes, we want to include all our files in the backup. Um, and we can say backup now. And then that will go ahead and create a backup. It will take a couple of seconds to do that. And that's about it. That's how you create your first backup. That's how easy it is. Um, there are some things to note on this. So if we go to this tab over here, you can see existing backups. This is the backup we just took and this is the backup date. You can, um, now how do you use this backup? So there's different situations where you might need to use this backup. Let's take the first situation. Let's say by mistake you change something on your site and you want to go back. You can use your backup to go back to a previous point in time. So let's try it out. I'm going to go into the pages and let's go to pages. And let's say for example I delete a page let's delete the, this page over here move to trash 
and we can say apply. And that deleted my terms and conditions. We go down to my footer and we click on terms and conditions. It says that I cannot find this page and it's been deleted. So now if we go back to our plugin, So all we have to do now is restore that page again. So if we go to updraft, we go to settings. And we go to our existing backup that we took and we click on restore. We can select all of them. We can click on next. and we can click on the restore and that will go ahead and restore our website and that's done we can return and now we can go ahead and we can check if our page was restored and great it's been restored so that's ju just an example of how you can actually use your backup to restore any any lost or, or unwanted mistakes or errors that happens on your website um, the, the next thing is we're gonna what we want to do is we're gonna want to create a automatic backup so that the set we did now is a manual way of doing it we'd want this to be automated so that we could have this um, backed up weekly or monthly whatever we decide to do and to do that all we need to do is we need to go to settings and then on our backup schedule we can click on weekly and I would say weekly for the database as well and you can retain this many schedule backups you can select four and I'll select four over there so this is going to give us an automated backup for our website and we're going to want to save that I'll, you can choose where you'd like to, to save that to which cloud platform I'm going to select Google Drive and that's going to create a folder on my Google Drive called Updraft Plus and it's going to ask you to sign in to your Google account and it's going to take you to that page I'll just select leave and I'm going to use that account over there and we're going to click on allow and congrats now your WordPress backup has been linked to your Google account and your Google Drive so now it will automatically update your your website every once a week and it'll keep that backup for four weeks and so and we've linked it to our Google Drive so that will be automated and it's in a safe location for us just go back to our dashboard so now you know how to automatically back your back up your website and it's safe from any crashes that might happen in the future and remember there's always a chance of your website breaking so this is it's extremely important to have a backup of your website and if you want your 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 your, your website to automatically take an update before updating any plugin or theme I think that's offered on the premium version so I hope this video helped you thanks for watching if you found this helpful please consider liking or subscribing to the channel I'll see you next time cheers